Hello friends, achieving different finishes in granite and marble involves altering the surface texture to create various visual and tactile effects. Common finishes include polished, honed, leathered, flamed, brushed, bush hammered, sandblasted, tumbled and river wash. Let us discuss these finishes in detail. Polished finish. This is a glossy reflective finish that brings out the natural colors and patterns of the stone. To achieve polished finish, initially lower grade diamond pad is used. The lower the number of the diamond pad, the coarser it is. Conversely, the higher the number of the diamond pad, the finer it is. Now progressively, higher grade diamond pad is used. The sequence shall be coarse to medium to fine grids. Each grit helps to refine the surface and removes the scratches left by the previous one. Grit levels typically range from 50 to 3000 or even higher. Water can be used to reduce the dust and keep the surface cool. If you want extra polished finish, you can apply a polishing powder or paste after using the finest diamond pad. After this, a stone sealer can be used to protect the polished surface and enhance its longevity. Polished finish is commonly used in areas where luxurious and elegant look is desired, such as countertops and decorative elements. Honed finish. The process is similar to polished finish, only the difference is, grit levels typically range from 50 to 800 or 1000. The honing process results in a smoother, matte or satin texture. While it is not completely matte, it lacks the high gloss shine associated with polished surfaces. Honed surfaces are less prone to showing scratches and itching than polished ones. Honed finish is often preferred for areas where a softer, more casual or rustic look is desired, such as in flooring or in spaces where glare or reflections are a concern. Leathered finish it has a textured, slightly undulating surface that resembles leather. The process is similar to polished finish but this includes coarse grit around 50 to 100, medium grit around 200 to 400 and fine grit around 800 to 1500. After this, the diamond tipped brushes are used to create a leather like texture. Leathered finish is softer and smoother than brushed finish. Leathered finishes can enhance the natural color variations in the stone. Leather finishes are often chosen for indoor applications, such as kitchen countertops and bathroom surfaces. Flamed finish. It is a rough textured surface which is achieved by exposing the stone to high temperatures. A stone is moved on a specialized machine that has multiple burners. The heat will cause the minerals in the stone to expand. Immediately after flaming, water is used to cool the surface rapidly. It results in a flamed texture. The water helps set the flamed texture and prevents overheating. Flamed finish is commonly used for outdoor applications due to its slip resistant nature. Brushed finish this is similar to leathered finish but with a less pronounced texture. It is created by brushing the stone with coarse abrasive brushes. It provides a weathered or antique appearance. This finish is suitable for outdoor applications such as countertops and flooring as it tends to be less slippery than a polished surface. Bush hammered finish. This involves initial grinding with coarse grid diamond pads 50 to 200. Once the initial grinding is done, the surface is then subjected to the bush hammering process using a specialized machine with pointed or toothed hammers. This creates the characteristic textured finish by creating small craters on the surface. After the bush hammering, intermediate grinding is done with fine grit diamond pads 400 to 800. After this, a stone sealer is applied. This results in a rough, pitted surface that is slip resistant. 
this finish is commonly used to provide non-slip surface for outdoor applications such as a pool decks, exterior paving, landscaping, etc. Sandblasted finish It is achieved by blasting the surface with sand or other abrasive materials such as silicon carbide or aluminium oxide. The equipments needed are sandblasting machine and compressor. It creates a textured non-slip surface with a slightly rough feel. It is often used for exterior applications such as outdoor paving, facades and architectural elements. Tumbled finish It is achieved by tumbling the stone in tumbling machine with abrasive materials, gravels or steel bearings to round off edges and create a warm appearance. The stones will continuously rub against each other and the abrasive grit gradually wearing down sharp edges and creating a rounded appearance. The duration of tumbling depends on the desired level of rounding and texture. It provides a rustic aged look suitable for a variety of applications such as flooring, pavers and decorative elements to give the stones a weathered and timeless appearance. River wash finish. It mimics the appearance of stones found along river banks. It provides a worn, rounded and natural look. It is suitable for outdoor applications like landscaping, walkways and decorative elements. The stones are placed into the river wash machine or tumbler. The tumbler will have a rotating drum that mimics the natural erosion process by tumbling the stones against each other. Abrasive grids are placed into the tumbler. The coarse grids help in the initial shaping while finer grids contribute to smoothing and polishing. Tumbling time and grid size can be adjusted as per the need. At last, a stone sealer is applied to protect the finish. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.